vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello, what is up you dazzling diamonds and the others. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kai and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video, all right? So you guys, in this video, we are talking about the picture that has been circulating the internet and all the blogs, all right? Of Michelle Ndamase and her lover, who looks like a father. <laughs> He really does. Look at the picture. He looks like her father, but that is actually her lover, right? And this guy is said to be married. And it is said to be that Michali actually stole this married man from his wife, right? Now, in the video that I did about the situation when it came out initially, I was like, we cannot, um, burn Michali Namase at the stake just yet until we actually have the full information. Did Michali get into this relationship with this old man um, after he split with his wife, from his wife? Or did she really steal this man from the wife? Till this day, we still don't know the details of the situation and I doubt we ever will. So we're just going to have to... Um, speculate and give our opinions on the situation moving forward right it seems like to me Michali doesn't actually care what the public thinks now obviously Michali has come out on numerous occasions and she has this don't care attitude that people can say whatever the hell it is that they want to say about her and she's just going to Get along with her day and not pay any mind or attention to the negativity or the rumors type of situation. That's okay. It's fine for you to just not engage in the drama. But for how long do you think that people are going to be okay with you not divulging this type of information or information about yourself? Because at the end of the day, the people that want to know what the hell is actually really going on, who this girl really is, are the same people that put her in a position of influence, a position of power, a position whereby she can be an influencer. And yet it is so difficult for her or this old man of hers to come out and say, yeah, this is the situation. It's, I just find that very, very strange. Because people are very curious. So we can actually formulate our opinions properly and put this whole thing to bed. <laughs> just like Michelle did with that old man. To a certain degree, it's not our business. But hey, these are the influencers and the celebrities. So we might as well talk about it. Because why not? I saw the picture, the one that I just showed you guys. And just looking at the picture, I feel like it is only a matter of time before Michali is not the flavor of the month in this guy's eye. He is going to do to Michali what he did to his wife. Crazy thing is, you might just hear that Michali and this guy are getting hitched. But until how long? How long is it going to take for this man to get bored? And then for Michali to eat the same shit that she made that other lady eat? It's going to be hilarious and very funny. And we're all going to enjoy talking about it because of Michali's don't care attitude. Don't address nothing, I don't care, it doesn't matter. The reason why Michali gets sponsorships, sponsorships and brands want to work with her is because they recognize that people, that she's influential to people. What if people get tired and they cancel her for good and she's no longer influential? Then what? 
She will no longer be the hot little snack that she is right now for this Leroy guy. She'll just be another influencer that fell off and stole some girl's husband. If Mikhlady and this guy take it all the way, and Mikhlady decides to have a baby with this man, if she even moves in, they probably do stay together at this point, because apparently, allegedly, he's the one that bought that house for her. No surprise there. Then it kind of makes you wonder, what is she really in love with? Is she in love with that man, or the material things that he can provide? Because damn, baby, if that guy didn't have the money, do you guys think that Mikhlady Namase would have even looked at him twice? Have you seen the guy? I'm not in this video to bash his looks. I mean, just looking at her and looking at him, it's not a nice couple, you know? But money talks. So it's not even a situation where we can say, what if he didn't have the money? He has the money. And that's how he won Mikhlady's heart type of situation. I've seen a TikTok or I don't know where that thing was, but I think I viewed it on YouTube, right? Where the ex-wife of this guy looks very unbothered and not phased by this whole entire situation. I don't know what's happening with her behind the scenes, but damn, it looked like to me, she's just thinking, thank goodness I dodged a bullet. Apparently, allegedly, this guy is very known. He's well known for being a little creep, you know? This is apparent and it is alleged that he's known for being a bit of a creep when it comes to these influencer girls. What happens when the, ne when the next young hot thing is willing to take Mikhlali's place? What happens to Mikhlali? Is everybody gonna feel sorry for her if he breaks her little heart? You shouldn't. I told you, I don't like hoes and thoughts and homeworkers. I don't like them. Not to say that is Mikhlali, but damn, girl. We get it. That information of these two people dating just came out last week. So if they want to publicize their relationship at this point, I guess they can. But she could have waited. Her name is Dirty. But of course, Mikhlady doesn't give a shit. It's only a matter of time until brands and sponsorships start to really, you know, a lot of things are changing. People are changing. These brands and sponsorships and all these things, they are changing too. Why does the cancel culture not apply to people like Mikhlady? I'm not saying she wanted to get cancelled, but I'm just asking, why doesn't it apply? It's just a question. Other people get cancelled for cheating. Or these types of scandals. But that's how the cookie crumbles. That's how this world, this very dark, dark world works. Pretty privilege. And if you have the right amount of numbers, that means that you have the, the right influence. You will not get cancelled. Type of situation. I just feel like this whole Mikhlady Damase and Euro situation is just weird. That guy looks like her father. That, that relationship doesn't make me excited in any way, shape or form because somebody is bound to get hurt again. Right? And it seems like Mikhlady is very smitten. I don't know. You know what it really seems like? It seems like um, someone in the situation has daddy issues. And he's like a father figure to Mikhlady. You know? Even that clip that we saw where they were fighting in the club, it was so awkward. Where he walks away from her, she sits down, and then it seems like her friends are like, hey, join me. Or something like that. And then she gets up to follow Leroy. You can tell a lot about them from body language. Oops. You can tell a lot from somebody's body language. It really does seem like a daddy issue type of situation. 
in my opinion. However, I wish everybody involved the best of luck. And also, I wish everybody involved will get their karma so we can talk about it, right? And can people stop saying, stop blaming the woman, what about the man? Just The reason why everybody's coming for Mikhali at this point is because she is the influencer. Influencing people got shit. Right? Anyway, you guys, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel and my others, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Guys, it's very possible for you to go and get your own man, eh? And you can get one that actually just matches you type of situation. Because that old daddy man, he doesn't look good for me, Sally. And not just because he doesn't look good, it's because, hey, Mikhali seems very immature, man. You know on that Instagram live where she was so freaking excited about the fact that they were going to match outfits. It's like, who cares? She was so giddy and happy. Oh, I've never done that before. Wow. <laughs> he was doing the same thing with his wife that he's going to do with you. I always find it so strange when a guy or a girl gets into a new relationship and then they do the same things they were doing for the ex. Are they really over the other person or is this just their strategy? It's like the situation with AKA and Nadia Nakai with the Rolex. He did the same things with um, Nelly Tag. What are the Rolex? They used to do the champagne thing and they post it. They're doing the same thing with Nadia. If a guy was to do that to me, I'd be so weirded out. Like, what's your problem? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Huh? Huh? Mm -mm. No. Hey, anyway, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>